When someone is obsessed, they've lost control of their feelings about the object of their obsession. This kind of obsession is seen throughout all type of anime and could be considered very romantic. Today I'll be counting down our list of top 5 romance anime where girl is madly in love or obsessed with the main character. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 5 Science fell in love, so I tried to prove it. It is widely believed that science can provide rational explanations for the countless phenomena of our universe. However, there are many aspects of our existence that science has not yet found a solution to, and cannot decipher with numbers. The most notorious of these is the concept of love. While it may seem impossible to apply scientific theory to such an intricate and complex emotion, a daring pair of quick-witted Saitama University scientists aim to take on the challenge. One day, the bold and beautiful Ayam Himuro outwardly declares that she is in love with Shinya Yukimura, her fellow logical and level-headed scientist. Acknowledging his own lack of experience with romance, Yukimura questions what factors constitute love in the first place and whether he is in love with Himuro or not. Both clueless in the dealings of love, the pair begin to conduct detailed experiments on one another to test the human characteristics that indicate love and discern whether they demonstrate these traits toward each other. As Himuro and Yukimura begin their intimate analysis, can the two scientists successfully apply scientific theory, with the help of their friends, to quantify the feelings they express for one another? Number 4 Renai Bukin When a strange girl named Giri comes knocking at Seiji Aino's door, he quickly finds himself thrust into a world of romantic troubles. Claiming that she will die if he doesn't kiss someone within 24 hours, Giri's pleas of desperation are misunderstood as pleas for love, leading Seiji to kiss the cute stranger that came barging into his house. In actuality, it turns out that this cosplaying Cupid is the wielder of a kiss note, in which any pairing of names she writes will kiss and become a couple. Giri explains that she misspelt and accidentally wrote Seiji's name while indulging in her yaoi fantasies, but because she had yet to pair him with anyone, their kiss was meaningless. Even worse, Giri reveals that if Seiji is not coupled with anyone soon, not only will she die, but Seiji will remain a virgin for eternity. Eager to escape his fate, Seiji sets his sights on the beautiful and popular Akane Hayama. But after Akane hears that he kissed Giri, she reveals the obsessive and psychopathic feelings that she holds for the unfortunate boy and proceeds to viciously attack them. In the ensuing confusion, Giri is able to pair Seiji with Akane in the kiss note temporarily saving Seiji from any further bodily harm. But to complicate matters, Giri's newfound feelings lead her to also pair the two of them with herself. Just when the situation could not get any more convoluted, this new coupling with Giri has turned Seiji and Akane into temporary angels, forcing them into assisting the Cupid with her work of pairing humans, lest they be cast into hell. With all semblance of normality snatched from his life, Seiji gets to work at matchmaking with these eccentric girls by his side. Number 3 Demon Spirit Seed Manual Demon Spirit Seed Manual follows a modern-day Chinese otaku, Yuan Ding, who is transported into a fantasy world with magic, vampires, fantasy tropes. However, upon discovering he has no affinity for magic at the Magic Academy entrance exam, he becomes an outcast and decides to spend his life as a gardener. Fortunately, he stays with a man who had fairy seeds, which are said to help break through your cultivation once successfully grown. Yuan Ding overtakes the old man's dream of cultivating a fairy seed and finds himself in a lot more conflict than he bargained for, as the fairy wants to kill him. Will this otaku's dreams be realized in the next life? Hey there, Amino. Dead end. Number 2 Mirai Nikki. Here is the ultimate yandere girl you will ever come across. Yuki Amano is a shy middle schooler who regularly keeps track of what he does in his daily life by writing down all of his activities on his phone, a digital diary. Despite having no friends at school, Yuki is frequently seen talking to his supposedly imaginary friends Deus Ex Machina, the god of time and space, and Deus Servant, more more. One day, Yuki wakes up and discovers that certain events of his day are preemptively displayed on his cell phone. While initially dismissing it as a coincidence, he slowly realizes that the incidents written in his phone actually take place in the near future. After spending the day benefiting from this new asset, Yuki learns that his classmate Yuno Gasai possesses a similar diary. As the two team up to defeat an odd pursuer and head back to their respective homes, Deus Ex Machina explains that they 
alongside 10 other contestants, have been drawn into a survival game whose victor will become the deity's successor. Number 1 Oni AI After their parents' deaths, brother and sister Akito and Akiko were forced to live with separate families for six years. But now they have finally reunited and begin to live together. It quickly becomes apparent that Akiko harbors romantic feelings for her brother, however, Akito only sees her as a sibling. When three more girls, Anastasia Nasahara, Arashur Nikedu, and Jinbei Haromi Saatari, move into their apartment, Akiko's hopes of living alone with her brother vanish. Moreover, these girls also like Akito in one way or another, making it even more difficult for Akiko to gain her brother's undivided attention. As the girls fight over who should take care of Akito, they display various eroticisms that may be a little too much for a normal man to handle. Tweak the wooden sway in the wind.